Hello, Leo, and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This is going to be your September general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, Leos, and if it doesn't, that's okay. Check the sun, your moon, and your rising, okay? I do ask that if anything does resonate with you, you give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. I'd love to have you. All right, we're going to get into your energies, your recent past, your current energies, and your potential outcome, okay? It's potential. Now, y'all just remember, people got free will. They can make the choices that they choose, that they feel the best for them, okay? First, let's get your cards on the table, and then we're going to clarify Leo's recent past. Leo in the recent past. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Four of Wands. Let's get your current energies, Leo, for September. Leo's current energies for September. Leo, your immediate energies, future energies, immediate future energies. All right, Leo. Okay, let's get, let me, leave me a minute, let me see, let me see here, let me get the cards together. Hope you guys can see everything. For the overall reading, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is something very nourishing. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Someone very sturdy, sturdy or balanced. Um, but it has to do with your foundation and either this is how someone sees you, Leo, or you see them. Uh, apology looks like it's due, okay? So, but let's just get into it. In your recent past energies, we got the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Wands. I'm definitely feeling that somebody felt left out in the cold because of some conflict that was going on in the family. Um, there are some decisions that may have been made because somebody just felt left out in the cold and it was, it was they either wanted to leave this conflict or these people were not getting alone. It just was not coming out into a situation that was a happy home. It's about a foundation. So it could be marriage, long-term commitment, or it can just be the place where you reside, you just feel there is a lot of conflict and you felt left out in the cold or you leaving that situation out in the cold in the past. You may have walked away from something that just seems like it was, it just, it could have been inner conflict too. Something that just was going on within your relationship that just made you feel like it's just too much conflict here. Okay, we're gonna clarify. In the current energies, we got the Knight of Wands in reverse. We got the High Priestess in reverse. And then the Seven of Wands didn't come up and it didn't come down. It's like you had, it's like Seven of Wands upright is when you're blocking yourself, having boundaries. And with it not completely there, you may be uh, realizing that you're, you didn't have. Uh, your boundaries up or someone didn't have boundaries up against you or maybe these boundaries are extremely too high for you okay um in your potential energy outcomes there's a seven of swords the ten of swords and also we have the moon card I truly feel that whatever secrets or lies or deception that was happening for the potential outcome, those secrets will be released. You're going to get over this deception or hurt or pain. Definitely feel that you're going through something. And it could just be because 
somebody was not telling the truth. They was trying to get away with something. And that's what all the conflict could have been about in the past. And it really caused uh, you to be very disappointed in the situation. And with the Ten of Swords, this is something that con constantly went on. Or you carried it in your heart, your mind, your soul. And you just got fed up. And the Ten of Swords is the end of something. So whatever this situation is, it will be coming to an end. Because there are some secrets going to come out. In the end, in regards to what this is all about. So, let's do some clarifying here, okay, Leo? Why is, um, in the recent past, why is the Five of Pentacles here in the recent past? Why is the Five of Pentacles here in the recent past? Let's see. Okay. So, in the recent past, what I'm seeing with this Five of Pentacles being clarified, you had the Five of Swords, right? And you had the queen, the King of Swords in reverse. So, I'm feeling like this King of Swords could have been you, Leo. And you was choosing to not see a situation that was not working. You know, you wasn't really clear on the direction in which you should go. I think you had your guards up. And you wasn't really trying to see the truth or why you felt left out in the cold or you had to leave this situation out in the cold. The five of swords is conflict. I mean, you may have felt you was in competition with someone or you with all this fighting with the five of wands and the five of swords. This was a lose-lose situation. But you refused to accept that and see that, that no one really was winning because... With this Five of Pentacles, this situation probably should have been walked away from a long time ago. With the King of Swords, they're not standing in their power. Maybe you wasn't standing in your power to make the decision. Or you didn't really want to see the truth in a situation. That you should have uh, realized that what you was fighting for deep down inside, is you just you still felt left out. Or your opinion wasn't even appreciated or the opinions that was being given, it just didn't make sense to you. And you didn't have that clarity. But I feel that you put the work in and you was really trying, you know, at the end, maybe you thought if, you know, you constantly worked on this situation, you could come out of the cold. And that's because there was a blindfold there, right? Because the King of Swords looks at things logically about what's going on in some way or another, your heart could have been involved in it, and you just did not want to walk away from a situation. Uh, with the five of wands here, <clears throat> with this conflict, now this could have been inner conflict with you. All right, let me clarify. One day fail. Okay, let's see. This. All right. So it looks like in the past, Leo, whatever this conflict was, and I feel that it was inner conflict about what's going on uh definitely if his family's having disagreements could have been a job it could have been friends it just could have been with the five of ones it could be several things it could be family it could be friends a relationship job i think it had like everybody just seemed like they were going crazy at one point in time and you just was sick and tired of the fighting and the arguing and the disagreement and the battle was there, okay? And you could have just ba been battling yourself, that inner conflict. You knew you wanted to move on to calmer waters. Your intuition was kicking in, and you was like, at the end of the day, this does not complete me. This does not make me happy. And so you start, you know, either you started getting more spiritual or reaching out for answers. You could have been speaking to someone or telling someone about how you feel, this is also my counseling card. You may have went, undergo some type of counseling, whether it was a best friend or someone that you feel that may have maybe a more insight on from the outside looking at the situation, whether it was within you, working on the conflict within yourself and needing to walk away because the Six of Swords is you wanting peace and you wanted calmness and you wanted to leave this situation your intuition kicked in and you was like, this conflict has to stop. I can't keep waking up every day arguing with you about the same thing or several different people. Or it was seems like whatever side you was on, 
the other side was completely, well, they wasn't equal with each other either. So everybody just disagreed. And you was disagreeing within yourself about situations that you knew um, that you needed to move on. But you have now realized in the past, I guess you made some moves. You might have moved away from this conflict. Um, you may be spending time by yourself. Uh, and you could be just working on healing because it may have been a situation, especially if it was family or a relationship that you actually had to just move away from. You also could just be traveling. Um, I also feel like you just packed up and was like, you know what? Those was lessons learned in that situation. And uh, with the high priestess, you are using your intuition to move on and to take the lessons with you, but to not be involved in this situation. So something that just kept leaving you empty inside and you couldn't see clearly. You was foggy. You was stuck. You got in got into that mindset and understood that you were only hurting yourself and maybe the people around you. People could have been literally fighting, okay? So why was the four of wands here in Leo's past? Okay. Oh, let's see, Leo, it fell on the floor, huh? Okay, you, the four of wands is clarified by the tower and the two of wands. A Leo, uh, look, a tower had to come in. You had a tower moment. Whatever this foundation was, wherever the situation was, the universe came in and took some things down. And that put you in a decision that you had to make a decision. You had to let something go and move forward. And the two of wands is definitely putting your intentions out there. So your intentions is to walk away from this situation or choose what's best for you, start a new beginning, take a new path. And maybe you haven't put it all together yet and figured out exactly how you was going to do it, but you are leaving a commitment or something that at one point in time, you really put a lot of effort in it. And you may have thought that uh, this was going to work, but you see that this is not going to work and you're choosing you. This is making a choice with the two of wands. In the past, you have moved away from something or released yourself from some energy and start working on healing because the tower moment came in. Now, when that tower moment came in, you was enlightened about some things. You may have seen people true colors um, and you realized that uh, the fact of you moving or leaving could have been a tower moment for these for the ones you left behind. With the four ones, it could have definitely been a foundation. And with you packing up and leaving, that was a tower moment for them. You could have been the head of household. It could have been a job. It could have been a marriage. But with the four ones, that's having happiness. That's commitment. That's building. That's an empire. And that empire started to crumble, or maybe you've seen it starting to crumble because of your intuition was kicking in that you needed to make a choice and that you need to leave a situation that no longer serves you, okay? So let's take a look at your current energies because we do have the Knight of Wands in reverse. So you could have been dealing with... Uh, another Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, or this is you. This could be you. Knight of Wands is clarified by the page, Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Four Swords. So I feel that, Leo, if you were dealing with someone that had this energy where they're coming in and out, in and out, and they wasn't committal, or maybe it was a situation, Leo, that you kept going in and out, in and out. Each time you came back, he was more fired up, ready to try, ready to give what it is that, you know, you really want to give in a situation, but you realize it wasn't work working. With the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Swords, this is a foundation. This is abundance. This is um, mostly in your 3D world. So you could have lost some money in this situation uh, with 
the Knight of Wands in reverse. You may have decided I'm no longer going in that direction. And by doing that, if it was a divorce or a separation, you may have lost some money in this process, okay? Because you had to split up different things. But at the end of the day, maybe you was not as stable as, stable as you thought you was going to be in the current situations. You may not be. But with the Four of Swords, I definitely feel that you are healing. You're getting past the hurt and the pain and understanding the lessons that was learned and right now i just feel in your current position you're just being grateful of where you at i think you're more calm more peaceful uh the conflict isn't around you like it used to be those friends or families or that commitment or those lower vibe energies of uh being left out in the cold or the five of ones of struggling fighting trying to get your point across trying to get attention trying to not feel less than you are healing from that and you are appreciating exactly who you are even though i feel you may have you know either lost that foundation in the process because you walked away and not really lost because if you chose it for yourself to walk away you knew that you may even wind up having to pay child support or that the income would not be the same uh you may have to find your own place May, you know, or some things like that. And, I, and you have to build your finances back up. Okay. So in the current, we have the high priestess in reverse. Why is the high priestess here in reverse for Leo? Why is the high priestess here in reverse? Okay, Leo, the high priestess is being clarified by the Hierophant. And the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This was definitely looking to me as if it was a marriage, a commitment. If not, it is something that you invested in. It could have been 10 years, could have been four years, seven years is what I'm hearing. Five years, it could have been less than that, right? Take it where it resonates. But you had a higher commitment. Your intuition kicked in and was like, this is not your Ten of Pentacles. This cycle has to end. Uh, you're not able to build on it. It's not what you thought so if you came into this situation hoping to get married or hoping that somehow you could work this out that this person would see or that you really wanted you know a committed relationship to ten of pentacles you are now realizing um that you know your intuition was off and it kept you stuck and you are now looking for a higher commitment, but you have learned the lessons. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse is like that cycle isn't completely over. You probably still have some type of ties with this person and you're still closing it out. So you're not completely out of it. But it also represents that maybe you do not have that firm foundation now because maybe you lost, you know, your stability during that time or at least some of that stability and uh, with the five of pentacles, I figure like half of that. Maybe you lost half of what you used to have, Leo. But um, yeah, and you just feel, I also feel you may be a little upset because you didn't follow your intuition. Because in the past, your intuition was there that you needed to get away from this conflict. And this energy wasn't matching you and you wasn't happy there. And the energy, you just wanted a peaceful, calm place. You just wanted to get away. And it took the tower to come in. And sometimes when that tower come in, that's the vine taking over. And it does sometimes, you know, it can, it can come in where things are not just easier than when you would have just realized what was going on and got yourself out of that situation. Now, with the seven of wands over here, almost there, almost, uh, almost to the fact of putting up boundaries. So, seven wands is definitely blocking someone out. This is putting up boundaries. Now, if this is a relationship, you do have the queen of pentacles here. Rather, this is you and you wind up having like abundance or you're coming up to abundance and, and being very nourished and caring. This person sees that and they are constantly trying to get in your head and come back. And you were trying to see like, should I just cut all communication off? You have not got the courage yet to just put up strong boundaries. And that is what I'm seeing that you need to do at this point in time. They may be coming back saying, well, you left and the light bills do or the gas bills do or the kids need this 
or you didn't pay your part in here, or I can't make it without you. We were supposed to be doing this together. And you're not sure at this time in the current how to put these boundaries up. So let's see, why is the Seven of Wands here in regards to the current energies with Leo? Why is the Seven why is the seven of wands here in the current energies? Okay. Okay, Leo, this seven of wands, the reason you haven't made the decision, you're heartbroken. Okay? This was a situation that you truly thought was a wish fulfillment. You're not completely healed yet. You're working on it for sure. But time heals the heart. And you are heartbroken. It could have been a third party here. Now, third party don't always mean someone was cheating. But this person just had other energies that they were paying attention to and was not focusing it on you. And for whatever reason it was, it was not enough for you to continue to go through this situation because you just felt like, at the end of the day, you were not winning. You were the one that was being left out in the cold or you leaving a situation. Now, you can you can flip this reading either way, Leo. It could be you. You could have been the one left the situation and someone is heartbroken and they, they, they know that you were not their wish fulfillment, right? Or they know that whatever it is that they tried or was trying to do, um, did not make them happy. And maybe they didn't have boundaries up. You could have been in a relationship with a male or female, and maybe they needed to have boundaries up against their friends or their family. And that was causing problems in the relationship because that third party energy just kept someone feeling left out in the cold. Um, and that was because someone didn't have enough boundaries to stand up for what it is they truly want. Okay, so in this current energy, there's healing. Yes, there's heartbreak, but you're working on getting strong about it, standing up for yourself, and doing what is best for you. Okay, let's look at your potential outcome here and uh, future energy. The Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Leo and the potential energy outcome? Okay, so in the outcome, don't worry about it, Leo, because you are now manifesting something better. But let's talk about this deception that's going to be going on in potential outcome. If it's happening now or it is to come your way, this person is going to come in and tell you that they've changed or that it is you. Someone could be reflecting that it's your fault. You left because you was deceptive. You was cheating. You wasn't given an equal give and take in the situation. And uh, that is why this situation fell apart. Now, you realize that this is someone being very deceptive because you got the sick. They had no intentions of really giving an equal give and take. What they wanted to do was you to continue to uh, entertain these lies and deception. If they had someone else, like they do have the three of swords here. So that means there was some other energy, but they kept their, let's see, they could have kept half of their clothes with you and half somewhere else. Okay. Whatever the situation is, it was not an equal give and take. That other energy was getting more energy than you were, or you were given another energy, more energy than this situation at hand, which definitely left it to conflict, all right? But now with the seven of ones, you are seeing this situation for exactly what it is, and you are getting stronger boundaries, and it's like you cannot come back here. You're not going to give an equal give and take. There's lies. There's deception. You chose that grass over there. So I hope it's greener because you can't come here. I have my boundaries up now. I know that you're a liar. I know you're deceptive. I know you wanted to keep running in and out or you want to have your cake and eat it too. Or you're telling them you can have your cake and eat it too. You just can't have your icing because that's me. I'm the icing on the cake. So you go over there with your dry cake and your grass that you thought was greener. That's what you're saying because you have strong boundaries up now. You're not playing any games. You're not letting them in. If they coming back, right you do have a foundation here if you wind it up with this foundation or you had your own home 
they had their own place or whatever it is, you are not letting them pack up and come back in because you truly see the truth in this situation that this is a no-win situation. It's very conflicted. You may feel like you was drained and always fighting for something that was never going to be an equal give and take. This person is definitely coming in, though, for an apology. So do get ready for that. <laughs> Now, I feel that this person is first going to come in where they're going to try to project their behaviors out off on you. And when they realize that doesn't work, then they're going to humble themselves. And now they want to apologize to you after all that they didn't cause you and put you through. But what they didn't know, Leo, is that in the meantime, you was getting your stuff together. You was understanding and seeing and getting in your intuition and healing and working on your abundance and your next move. And it's like soon as you put your guards up and start moving forward to this karma place, then here it come because they're not happy where they were. They're not happy that they did not choose you in the situation, that they did not give you an equal give and take. That is what I'm feeling. With the Ten of Swords here, let's see. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? Okay, it was a whole lot. Leo, this a whole lot. And you coming up in your power, okay? First of all, you got the world card. Clarifying the Ten of Swords. And that is beautiful because guess what? Ending an old cycle to begin a new. This is the end of the hurt and pain. And you know why? Because you are being you. You are being you, Leo. Male or female, it doesn't matter. And the emperor, you are standing in your power. This person is about to see a new Leo. It's not new. It's been there all the time. But this time, you're going to show them what you're working with, right? You're standing in your power. You see what it is that you want. And, <clears throat> I, you know, sometimes the king of wands can wear a mask because they're fired up. They know what they want. And they will do what it takes to get what they want. Now, I'm not saying you being deceptive, Leo, but I think you may even be trying to um, be nice towards this person and show that, you know, what we had in the past was great. You know, it's like a boast almost, Leo. That's what I feel. Like this person see you. Oh, you looking good. I see you taking care of yourself. You Oh, you didn't got a new car. You got a new job. Maybe even a new boo, you know. And they see you. And you are looking good, handsome, fine, or pretty, gorgeous. It doesn't matter. You know, energies don't matter when it comes to terrible. And your outcome and the potential energy outcome, your energy is on point that cycle ends a new one begins yes you're going to take those lessons with you the ten of swords where they lied it was deception or you was just so disappointed time and time again in a relationship that could have been 10 years i'm seeing like and i don't know i'm just feeling like 10 because you got ten of swords you got the ten of pentacles and that's a firm foundation you know, within your heart, maybe not in the 3D world, but it was something that you really was committed and wanted to work on. But now you are working on yourself. And I don't think that's the only person seeing you, you know, but you're looking good in the potential outcome because you are now standing in your power and you are choosing to let that cycle in. And the way you're doing it is by having stronger boundaries. No more running in and out. No more lies. No more cheating. I want to see things for exactly what it is. You're facing it for what it is. You're accepting it for what it is because you had to. And I think and feel that by you doing that, this person is truly now seeing you and seeing that you're ending that cycle and you're not going to continue to play this wishy-wash in and out because you did have a night of wands there. So someone could have just been in and out with their energies you know one minute they're here the next minute they're gone yes they want to invest then they don't want to invest you know and you were and you were trying to heal the situation but you were no longer doing that you are just working on yourself i feel like you have gained a lot of power within yourself and if you have not it is coming in as you are healing and not forgetting what this person did you may even still have to co-parent with this person or you may have to see them you know you might work with them live in the same neighborhood 
or some family issues or celebrations where you would have to meet and see this person. And I feel when this person sees you, they're not going to believe what they see, but they're going to feel that energy that you no longer have that five of pentacles left out in the cold or this five of swords you had in the past fighting to make a point or, you know, want someone to show up for you or don't feel like that every time you turn around, there's a situation you need to solve for them. Okay, that's what I'm feeling now. We got the moon is the last card here in your um, energies and a potential outcome. Now, why is the moon here for Leo? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, is there? Oh, yeah. Because the, the moon is being clarified by the devil and the queen of swords. You are turning your back to that energy and somebody may get the lip. You may give it to them. You may be like, now, this could definitely be that you was dealing with a, uh, a Libra or Aquarius or a Gemini, all right? But this could also be you, Leo, in your power, seeing the truth and, like, putting the devil at your back, whatever, codependency or toxic or some Oh, I just hear it, too. The secret is somebody's going to be coming in because they now are feeling like they can't let you go. They knowing that they was toxic, but they're coming in and they're going to be trying to talk to you and smooth talk you because they're codependent, they're toxic, and they need to change their ways. And that's exactly what you're probably going to be telling them as you turn your back and walk away. Yes, you are not dealing with it anymore. And that's the secret that they don't know. The moon is self-consciously, they may even know, like if I even go towards Leo with the way they look right now, they're going to see me coming a mile away. And yeah, with your back being turned and you only giving out the truth now. You're not accepting any maybe, shoulda, woulda. And you're definitely not letting them uh, portray their toxic behaviors on you anymore. And you're going to be expressing that to them. So this person, cross watchers or visually, or however it go, just be careful because somebody going to have a flip tongue here. <laughs> okay? This is beautiful, but this is standing in the power, looking good. You're moving forward, but know somebody's coming in. And they may be coming in because they want part of that stability. They won't back in. Now they realize that third-party energy is not benefiting them at all. And they may be coming in to tell you that. That's the secret. They may be coming in like, this person, I'm not with them anymore. You know, I, I, I don't have the passion for them. I'm not being toxic anymore. I'm walking away from that situation. And you don't want to hear it. <laughs> you like, yeah, well, you had an opportunity with me to grow and build and have something. But you chose to leave me out in the cold. So this time, I'm turning my back on the situation. Because your truth is not my truth. That's what I heard. <laughs> Leo telling someone, your truth is not my truth, okay? I hear you. Let's get, uh, let's get, let me see. Let me see what else. Let's get the spiritual guidance for this. Yeah, we got it on the floor. Hold on. Flipped. All right, Leo. Hold on, Leo. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh huh. One more spirit, Leo. Spiritual guidance. Oh my, Leo. Keep going. All right. Yeah, you. Somebody is hurt. Look, somebody hurt Leo. They ain't, this. They are missing you, and they are hurt. They can't even get up for work in the morning. They can't even move forward. They just can't. They just can't. And you know why? Because you finally realized that they were not your wish fulfillment or that situation did not benefit you. And you're like, I understand. I was hoping that this was a wish fulfillment, but it's not. This wasn't sent to me from the universe. And you are realizing that with the four cups in reverse, you are realizing this is not what I want. I'm first going to love myself. The nine of cups is that independent love. You drop them four cups over there being disappointed in someone, you know, and start working on yourself. And I told 
you, now you're abundant and caring and loving for yourself. And you may not be there yet, but you're getting there. But at the end of the day, what you truly wanted was to have a commitment, a happy family, a stability. And it is coming in for you. And what the universe needed you to do is to realize that what you was in was not it. And that you needed to have more love and care and nourishing for yourself independently so that that love would then shine outside of you and your true soulmate would come in. Now, it doesn't, if you're in the age where you're like, I'm not having no kids or anything, it doesn't matter. The Ten of Cups represent you sharing your heart and soul with someone else that appreciates you and on the same energy and vibes that you are. And with the Nine of Cups there, you went straight from the Nine to the Ten. So what you've been waiting for and wishing or wanting, it is coming in for you. And that's because of the healing, the understanding, and the clarity that you got within yourself. That is a beautiful. And definitely know somebody come and apologize. They're hurt. They're missing you. They're having this night, sleepless nights. And this deception or whatever, they may be going through the dark night of the soul because what they did is put their own soul in karmic, okay? So they got to deal with that karmic, I'm telling you. But Leo, this is a beautiful reading. This is what I have. The universe is going to send you in exactly what you've been waiting for. Now, remember, time is linear, so you never know when it's coming in, but don't give up, especially if you feel that this is your situation. You walked away from something that you just felt that you could not win in and the other person wasn't putting in and you left a home. Um, things start crumbling around you and you didn't know why they was crumbling. It was because it was time for a change. It was time for a change. And you knew you wanted to be in common waters, but it was a situation you didn't want to give up in. You was taking yourself for less than what it was. As they was giving you energy, it wasn't enough to keep you from feeling lost and out in the cold. But you were no longer feeling that way. You were leaving this situation out in the cold so that you can have exactly what it is that you want. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Let me get a close journey for you here. Let's get a soul's journey card for you, Leo. Spirit guides, what is the message for Leo for their soul's journey? Spirit guides, what is the message? <laughs> uh, yeah, they coming. They coming. I'll tell you why. <laughs> and what did I just tell you, Leo? You may be like, I don't see this coming. I'm working on myself. Things is a little tough. Let me tell you, you got the first thing came out is abundance. You know why? You want to, <laughs> you got to know that you did give up some. I feel you sacrificed some. I feel that you may have had to give half up child support. Maybe you had to pay out everything just to get away from this situation and your financial situation, a stability, a home, a car as well was not in the place that you needed to be and that could have been an issue too of why you didn't want to walk away. But this says abundance. I am limitless. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So you are now manifesting and this abundance is coming in and the universe is telling you patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Yes, this situation was divinely guided and now you are manifesting and maybe <laughs> what you felt that you lost and, and this potential outcome, don't worry about it because you are the emperor. Emperor is stable. They have their own foundation. They're fired up, fine, smelling good, looking good. And then what comes in, what you exactly been manifesting, but you started to love and care for yourself. Maybe you was putting too much emotions in other people or investments in other people. And now you are investing in yourself, Leo. You are no longer investing in a relationship that does not work for you. So releasing that toxic energy and that toxic person and this, this confliction within yourself, you have gained a lot of courage and strength to move forward. You can make it. Abundance is coming in for you. And the universe is saying just to be patient because our time ain't the same time as the universe time. 
If this seems to resonate with you, Leo, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And if you just does not feel like you want to do that, I still wish you love and light. See you next time, Leo. Bye.